Hello, back again to do another unboxing and review. As you can see, I have yet another hydrating body wash to review. And for those who are wondering or maybe concerned, uh, don't worry, the direction of this channel has not changed over to personal hygiene products. It's just that when I picked up this and decided to review on this one, which by the way was my previous review, go back and look at it if you're curious about this, I also picked up this formulation as well. So I thought, why not review them both? All right, so this is, um, as I said, a hydrating body wash. It is made by Dove. It's part of their Dove Men Plus Care line, obviously um, directed or targeted towards men. All right, so here we have relaxing. As I said earlier, it seems that all these have a common format when they kind of name them. They first have something that's like relaxing or purifying, etc. And then they seem to point out two of the highlighted ingredients, right? So in this case, eucalyptus oil and cedar. Now, it claims here it's a hydrating body wash. I will be using this not only as a body wash, but also I'll use it on my face, and I'll let you know if you can use it as a face wash. I'll let you know how that goes. All right, so we have natural essential oils, plant-based cleansers and moisturizers. It's sulfate-free, and then down here, you'll be getting 18 fluid ounces or 532 milliliters. That's just telling you that this is 93% naturally derived. Um, I guess the ingredients. And now I'll talk about ingredients, we'll go back up here to the eucalyptus oil. So a real brief rundown, apparently, well, when you say eucalyptus, I think most people, probably um, koalas come to mind, right? They eat eucalyptus. But as far as the, why we're um, in this product, what eucalyptus supposedly will do, the oil from the leaves of the eucalyptus, but the benefits of, I think they were, one is it has some antimicrobial, so yeah, cleanser, right? And then the other has a fragrance, so it adds smell, and they're going to talk about the relaxing smell, so okay. And then the other thing was, well, it has some natural um, insect repellent, so <laughs> I don't know if you use enough of this. Will mosquitoes not bite you when you go outside? I don't know, perhaps. And then, all right, cedar, of course, there are a lot of different types of cedar and plants, but apparently they all have something in common. The oil from those plants has some, again, antimicrobial, um, or, yeah, bacterial, cidal, uh, there you go, um, elements. So again, clean, clean, right? Kill germs, clean body. All right. So now let's go into the back. I'll ref so uh, I'll read this little blurb again. I don't know if it's changed from the, the previous formulation. Okay. Anyway, it says a good shower experience takes care of your skin and helps you relax. It's a small step towards a healthier body and mind. Okay. Now, uh, here are three kind of little icons, um, like, much like on the previous formulation. But this one says, soothing, calming scent of eucalyptus and chamomile. All right. So we already kind of talked about the eucalyptus, the, the chamomile. What do I know about that? Well, yeah, okay. So, yeah, I know they use it in tea. And I even think they use it in, like, ale and beer. I think they put the whole plant in there and use that. But... Obviously, that's not what we're looking at here. You're not supposed to drink this, by the way, so don't do that. <laughs> but I think their idea with the camel, the chamomile is that there is some, I don't know how locked down the science is on this, but there's, I guess, some preliminary research that the chamomile oil uh, might help with anti-anxiety. So I guess that's the whole relaxing. Is that right what it says here? Yeah, relaxing. Okay. Now, moving over, we have, it makes a creamy lather, that's always good, and then they're just bragging again that this is the number one dermatologist recommended brand, that being Dove. Okay, now moving down here, the bottle's 100% recycled, if you care about the environment, and that's all great. And then again, um, PETA, so they don't test this on animals, so, all right. And now let's get down to the ingredients. Um, we're not going to go through all these, don't worry. I just wanted to kind of point out some of the major ones. Again, with these, as you know, the closer they are to the top, the more, um, the higher the percentage of that ingredient is in the bottle. Okay, and all of these body washes are all going to have water at the first top spot, so that's no different. Uh, but we're looking for there we go. Um, here, if you can see it, see it starts there, eucalyptus, and then it continues down here. Um, I don't know how to say that's probably just a particular. Uh, species of eucalyptus or whatever and then it says leaf oil so there's our eucalyptus and then we also have this juniperus mexicana oil now what i remember about that is thinking hold on da, 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 da. yeah i think that has some anti-inflammatory properties and they say it's good for skin okay so super i can see why they put that in here 
And then also somewhere, if one of these ingredients, I mean, you can pause and look through these if you want, but uh, supposedly one of the cedar, because um, remember, they, they must have gotten that from one of these other ones. Okay, but I think that's enough at looking at the ingredients, and uh, so yeah. All right, so overall impressions of the packaging. I know, it's a straightforward bottle, but let's talk about some of the good things about it. As with the previous formulation, because they use the same bottle, the circumference of the bottle is great for getting a nice, good grip on this, so you're less likely to drop it in the shower or bathtub. The other um, thing I'll point out, the spout top, although it's nothing fancy, um, this here, push here, and then the spout's there. Uh, simple, but it works, and nylosols are less likely to break should you drop it, and as opposed to the more fancy um, dispensers. All right, let's talk about the color. Keep in mind this here, this Dove Men Plus Care. This is always going to be this gray um, with white and silver text on it. That is something they use to distinguish this line, the one that's targeted towards men, as opposed to the normal Dove. All right, and let's now let's talk one last thing about this here. You see here, this bottle has these like leaves here, and if you look, those leaves are like colored the exact same as the actual product inside, which you can see through this side window. Uh, the first one I got, I thought that, that was a coincidence that it matched, but now I'm thinking that's what they're doing intentionally. And that's great because it works well. Like the coloring, I like how it kind of has a nature green vibe, but it also keeps a kind of more darker shade, which again helps to distinguish it from the the line that isn't so much targeted towards men. And it works for me. So with this, with that other way, let's get to looking at the actual product. All right, so I've gone ahead and opened up the top here, gave the bottle a couple squeezes, and I took a smell of that air coming out the spout. And uh, wow, yeah, this definitely has an odor, um, very fragrant. Now, to describe the smell, I would say it's a very high-pitched smell. I know, high-pitched, sounds like I'm talking about music or something, but I, I say that because when it, you smell it, it's very intense and it's very sudden, and it has a real sharp uh, some smells, they you know, the longer you smell, the more they seem to increase as the you know molecules build up in your nose. This you don't need that. Boom! Immediately you smell it. It is a very citrusy smell. You can tell that this is a plant, but it's not some like little flower or something subtle, but something that's more, more potent, like maybe a sap from a, a tree. And I can kind of see why this one of these one of the um, contents in here. I think I said earlier. It has a natural, uh, it repels insects, and that might be one of them I'm smelling, because it's almost like it would be bitter if you were to taste it. I haven't tasted it yet, by the way. So, now let's go ahead and I'll pour some out on my finger here, and we can look at the consistency. Alright, here we go. Hmm. Alright, so, it really feels like it looks pretty much um it is pretty runny i mean it does obviously have some you know there's some viscosity to it but i'd say it's actually more runny than it is um uh, viscous so and um as far as it lathering up keep in mind i'm not i don't have any water it's just but even with just rubbing it there you can see there's some suds starting to form on my finger there and uh, unlike the previous one I did, the, what was it, purifying, this does not have any grit in it or any exfoliant that you can feel by just rubbing. So more of a cool, soothing uh, sensation. All right, so I brought out two other products quickly as a reference, um, comparing it to this one here, which the review's on. So on the left, you have d what's the, I call it the standard line for Dove. So you notice that there's no Men Plus Care, it's just Dove. Now this here is meant for sensitive skin. It is a nourishing body wash. It is more like a cream. And um, when you apply it, it goes a long way. Every drop of this gives you lots of um, cleaning. So then this here is, as you can see, a Dove Men Plus Care line. This is more like the competitor to all the other brands, as where I think these are a little more specialized. This would be like your standard fare for, um, yeah, well, you get it. And it is a body wash. This also you can use on your face. It even says so. Um, although, of course, you can use this on your face easily as well. Okay, now here, going back to this. So now let's go ahead and do a viscosity test among all three of these. All right, so I poured out a little of each. So on the left there, the white um, colored one is the Dove Sensitive Skin. The one in the middle is what we're doing the review on. And the one on the very right is the Cool Fresh. 
Okay. All right, so I've been using this for four days straight now, and I'm going to let you know how it went. First, though, as far as the comparison among these three, I'm going to be removing this from the comparison, much like I did when I reviewed this one. And the reason is, is that the consistency of this, as you probably saw in the viscosity test, is so different than either of these that it's really kind of its own experience. So that being said, I think the comparison is more fair to be against a between these two and for this one here feel free to substitute one of the many other um, scented men body washes you've seen in the aisle when you've gone shopping all right so how was this to use here this well let's start with the big questions the first one is um, did it work meaning did I feel clean after I used it and the answer to that is yes actually I felt quite clean after using it that's always good and to be a little more to go a little more into that my skin after I got out of the bathtub, and yes, I did say bathtub, we'll get to that in a bit. Why did I do baths as opposed to showers? Although, of course, you could use this for both. Anyway, when I got out of the bath, I felt that my skin was not greasy, and also it wasn't really grippy either. You know, like some of those when they take all the water out of your skin, it kind of does, your skin doesn't feel nice and hydrated, it feels more grip. So we didn't have the grippy, and it also wasn't slippery. So it was right, right in the middle. Okay. And also my skin felt soft. So I'm going to say that it did a good job. As far as the odor left on your skin, it's not quite as much as you would ex expect. Since this is so fragrant, you'd assume you'd be walking around smelling like this for like the next day and a half. Well, not so much. It's there, but it's not really pronounced. Okay. So that can be a good thing or a bad thing, however you, depend on, however you look at it. Anyway, but there is some odor there. So, okay. Now... Let's go on to, um, well, I talked about bath versus <laughs> shower. The reason for that was, since this whole thing's supposed to be a relaxing, I figured if I'm sitting down in the tub, there's more chances to relax than if I'm standing up. Also, it, when you take a bath, since the suds don't go down the drain right away, instead they stay with you in the water that you're sitting in, Therefore, there'd be more chance for that aroma to get into my nose, and therefore I could experience the whole relaxation through aroma, uh, kind of aromatherapy type deal. I wanted to see if that would work, and that would give me the best chance of that happening. Okay, so now I guess I should talk about how it smelled, right? Since that's kind of the big thing for this one, or at least it's supposed to be. All right, this smell, it smells good. I uh, don't really know if it did anything beyond what I just uh, another fragrant body wash would do but it did smell good but i didn't achieve any zen uh, plane of enlightenment by you know bathing in this stuff so i don't know but it did smell good okay now to the health question um did you experience any irritation um rashes or general discomfort from using this no um didn't have experience any of that, which is good. And by the way, I did use this on my face every one of those four times I took a bath. So it works on your face as well. Okay. Now, with that out of the way, I'm going to kind of, let's get to the conclusion here. And part of that conclusion is actually going to have to go back to this one that I did a review on before. Now, if that makes, why? Well, simple. This one here, because of its um, exfoliant, which you feel on your skin, like I said, it feels kind of like sand mixed in body wash. That was such um, an experience, especially if you've never used a body wash like that before. That's kind of what was the take home message on this one, okay? So then when I use this one, which by the way, does not have those exfoliants, I used it and it was like, well, this is good, but it kind of is just like any other body wash I might buy. But actually, then I thought about it more and Actually, that might be a good thing. Now, let me explain why. So, when I realized that I was using this just, and it kind of was like any other body wash that I kind of liked, actually, then that might be the big takeaway from this. And what I mean by that is, I got an experience that I would get from one such as this, or one of the many other ones like this, from a body wash that has, that is sulfate-free, is 93% naturally derived, and it comes from something that wasn't tested on animals and comes in a 100% recyclable bottle. So, recycled bottle. So, with all that, it's actually quite an accomplishment that it's just like any other good body wash I might get. So, would I recommend it? Yeah. If those things are important to you, then this is, could be a really good alternative to the others.